Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the US 441 public meeting. My name is Johnny Demosten, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain the department's plan to improve safety and enhance operations along the corridor. We encourage your feedback, and there are multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. Our comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4476101. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valerian-group.com to report it. You may also call GoToWebinar support at 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project is in Orange County on North Orange Blossom Trail, also known as US 441. The project begins at Wadsworth Road and ends at the Lake County Line between the cities of Apopka and Mount Dora. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 4476101. The purpose of this project is to extend the life of the roadway and enhance the safety of the corridor, including special focus at the intersection of North Orange Blossom Trail and Old Highway 441, also known as County Road 500A. The recommended improvements we will review tonight were designed to improve safety throughout the corridor 
by providing safer conditions for all users. Proposed improvements include repaving the roadway, significantly modifying the intersection at Old Highway 441 to reduce crashes and crash-related injuries, providing new crosswalks, bus platforms, and sidewalk connectivity at Stony Brook Hills Parkway, and adding bicycle keyholes and bicycle connectivity throughout the corridor. What makes these proposed changes necessary? FDOT is committed to reducing the chances of serious injuries and fatalities on state roadways. A study of the intersection of North Orange Blossom Trail and County Road 500A, Old Highway 441, revealed one fatality and two serious injuries at the intersection when a vehicle traveling eastbound on Old Highway 441 turned left onto North Orange Blossom Trail and failed to yield to a vehicle traveling southbound on North Orange Blossom Trail. There have been a total of 18 crashes, including crashes that resulted in two fatalities and five severe injuries at the intersection, based on crash data collected between 2016 and 2022. The majority of these crashes were due to left-turn conflicts at the intersection. Six crashes involved vehicles traveling eastbound on Old Highway 441, turning left onto North Orange Blossom Trail, with vehicles traveling southbound on North Orange Blossom Trail. Three crashes involved vehicles traveling northbound on North Orange Blossom Trail, turning left onto Old Highway 441, with vehicles traveling southbound on North Orange Blossom Trail. Two crashes involved the eastbound merge from Old Highway 441 to southbound North Orange Blossom Trail. Currently, there are stop signs for traffic on Old Highway 441, as well as a stop sign for traffic on North Orange Blossom Trail, making a left onto Old Highway 441, which causes confusion as to who has the right-of-way. The angle of the intersection allows drivers to make the northbound left turn at high speeds without pausing to look for adequate gaps in oncoming traffic. The angle of the intersection also makes it harder for vehicles to see oncoming traffic when turning left onto North Orange Blossom Trail from Old Highway 441. As mentioned, the most significant safety improvements are proposed at the intersection of North Orange Blossom Trail and Old Highway 441. This project proposes realigning the intersection closer to a traditional T intersection. The proposed intersection maintains left turn movements from both roads, as well as free flow right turn lanes on both southbound North Orange Blossom Trail and eastbound Old Highway 441. This proposed configuration will slow down left turning traffic provide better sight lines, and allow drivers to make more informed decisions before entering the intersection. This design also supports growth adjacent to the project area, as it can accommodate a traffic signal in the future. Other safety improvements proposed for this corridor focus on the intersection of North Orange Blossom Trail and Stony Brook Hills Parkway, which is located adjacent to a busy public shopping center. Currently, there are no crosswalks provided at this intersection, which means that the existing shared use path that runs along Stony Brook Hills Parkway does not connect to the existing Lake Express bus stops on the southeast and northwest corners of the intersection. Those bus stops are marked by a sign along the roadway and do not currently have boarding and alighting facilities. FDOT proposes providing new crosswalks and median refuges for pedestrians and bicyclists at this intersection. New sidewalks are planned in order to connect the existing shared use path to the crosswalks and the Lake Express bus stops on both sides of North Orange Blossom Trail. Bus stop platforms with boarding and alighting areas are also proposed for the two Lake Express bus stops. The northbound bus stop will be relocated to the north side of the intersection for improved safety on the bus and easier access back into traffic. 
Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in fall 2024 at an estimated cost of $839,000. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is currently funded for the spring of 2025 and has an estimated cost of $4.7 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 9, 2023, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447610-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at johnny.demelston at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5206 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, Go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 447610-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Friday, June 9, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447610-1. Have a good evening.